is Julia Hagen. I'm a Chicago artist, and this year my goal is to paint and try as many Chicago hot dog stands as I possibly can. This is Jean and Jude's. I got a double dog with fries, and they serve it with the fries on top, and trust me, you have to eat the dog, fries, and all. Not only was this my favorite hot dog so far, it was also a painter's dream with the glowing yellow lights and all the neon signs. I had to add somebody carrying their meal out to their car because that's what everybody does. They eat in the parking lot because you can't wait till you get home. It's just so good. So what do you think? How did I do? What hot dog stand should I paint next? My name is Julia Hagen. I'm a Chicago local artist sent a mission to visit as many Chicago hot dog stands as she can and then recreate them. Julia Hagen is doing a series of paintings called Every Last Stand and her work is going viral. Good morning, Julia. Thanks for being Good here morning. this morning. Good thank to see you. Thank you for having me. I want to ask first and foremost, why hot dog stands? What it struck you about those? Yeah, that's a really good question. So to give some context, about a year and a half ago, I decided to paint Red Hot Ranch, my local favorite hot dog stand. And it got such great feedback and everyone started recommending all these other hot dog stands that I should go and paint. And it just struck me how much love there is for these hot dog stands. And as you can see with some of my other work, I love to do this neon glowing sort of nostalgic vibe. And the two just sort of came together. Yeah, so you initially went viral with some of your work. This painting that we're going to pull yes. up on the computer, it's called All of the Lights. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this one resonated with people? And then you branched into hot dog stand after <laughs> yes. that. Yeah, I think just like how, like I said before, the glowing lights. I think there's like a new take on the city. It almost looks a little bit like retro yeah. as well with, um, with those lights. Yeah, just something about it's very striking. What did you find when you were looking at hot dog stands in terms of trying to also, because I would imagine that many hot dog stands kind of reflect the character of the neighborhood a little bit. Yes. Uh, so what did you find at certain hot dog stands that you were like, okay, this is something that I want to capture Absolutely. in this painting? So Flub It Up Chubbs is one I yeah. did recently. And that one was very unique because it had such a quintessential Chicago architecture. And there was like a psychic shop next door. There is, you know, um, an Irish pub next door. It's very much like of that neighborhood, Lakeview area. Yeah. So are you going and eating the hot dogs at all these places? <laughs> I, too, am. Huh? I am. I am. Yes. I was like, I have to be authentic. I have to try yes. them. And I have not had a bad one yet. So, What's been your favorite so far? <laughs> well, I think I still stick with Gene and Jude's. Okay. I love it. Um, I also thought Flub It Up Chubbs was amazing. All of them have been good, so I can't complain yet. So what if you, if, if you done a lot of different, are you, do destination paintings? Is it mostly buildings and stuff like that that you do? Yeah, so it's funny. I've done sort of these bigger, like, bird's eye view paintings, and then I sort of just started to hone in more on just what makes a Chicago neighborhood a Chicago neighborhood. So I've done some other, you know, um, uh, buildings around town, but also I think mostly this hot dog stand series has really been just kind of this new thing. Now, if people want to, like, buy an actual print, yeah. th that's, I'm sure, more expensive than getting a print of the actual painting, yes. right? Yes, like, the original's always going to be a little more expensive yeah. than the, the prints. I do have prints available of all of my work. They're limited edition. Um, but, yeah, the usually those go out, um, and I'll post them to my newsletter, and people have been snatching them up so fast, which is incredible. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, what is you, the process like? To, do, you take, do you take a photo of it? Because, you know, yeah. sometimes we see uh, artists uh, standing outside the building, you know, and, and I, no. Actually, being yeah, it's been a little too cold to do yeah, some plein air imagine, painting. Yeah. Um, it's might get a little, yeah, no. <laughs> a little cold. But I primarily I'll take videos, I'll take photos, and then I'll bring them back home to the studio and I'll work at home. Well, you can check out more at juliahaganartist.com. You can also check out her work on social media. What is your, uh, oh, there's your social media account right there. You see it on yes. your screen. Yes. Well, Julia, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Thanks so much. Thank you so Thanks, much. Julia.